Salutations. It is Black History Month. But really for some of us, every month is Black History Month. But I wanted to do a video that was concerning melanin and uh, the mole theory. And this is something that caught my attention when it first came out. And what that statement is, the mole theory, which is, I guess, called the mole also. Now listen, I'm not a physicist or a chemist, and I'm certainly not a mathematician. So I can only kind of look at what they're saying, but it's way beyond me as far as mathematically. But they're saying that the mole is a way that they can take the particles of a substance and break it down in a way they never have. And they're doing that with melanin, all right? Now, melanin, uh, what they're saying with this is that melanin is not just a protectant for skin, but that it is also uh, used for um, immune system modulation. And what that means to my primitive understanding is how actually the stasis of how our immune system actually, what frequency it, it works at, uh, that could be rather for dealing with tumors or dealing with uh, um, free radicals out here in our atmosphere and pathogens and things of that nature. So it's supposed to, melanin actually is connected to the levels of the immune system and the intensity that we have of it. That's what this was saying. And I think that that's a, actually brilliant. So what that led me to as a contactee, as a melanin black contactee, it led me looking at what a lot of uh, other experiencers and contactees have said about um, a sanitation and a disinfectant and a sterilizing process they go through when they go on board the ship, which is sometimes in the light that they're taken on board with, the stasis fields. So go back on my channel, please, and look at the two videos I did on uh, levitation and stasis fields on entering, Uf entering UFOs. That's why I was asking that. Now, there's also some other experiencers that say, some in a secret space program or whatever. I didn't have experiences like that, but they say they've been through some type of a sterilization chamber. Now, all most black contactees that I've talked to, and when I did that little request, the ones I got to talk to, most like myself, said they would not been a, through a process like that. All right, that uh, I think is very, very valid. So I was thinking maybe are there um, a deal to where no black contactees due to our melanin have to go through the sterilization process. I found out that is not true. All right, even myself, when I went aboard, go back on this channel, another video, and look at the anti-gravity room that I described on board this, uh, this craft, that organic UFO. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's, um, okay, now this, this actually, the column, I think it had a, a what they're downloading me with was a it was a it was a substance similar to not uranium but like a type of small amount of plutonium, uh, just something similar to that. So there might be a slight radiation factor to this beam. The beam that floated me into that craft was blue, so there might have been a sterilization process going on there. And then when you take in that, and from my personal experiences, taken at a step forward, yo, all right, um, <clears throat> like this beam. When I was a child, it communicates all this information to me on several different experiences. I've shown you this being before. Okay, when asked, when I'm trying to inquire, a lot of times they'll answer before. You can even formulate your question telepathically why they're not coming out of the ship more. He had been out of the ship, but he was saying what I've termed the M&M &M effect, all right, which is uh, metals and the microwaves in our atmosphere, he had communicated to me is very dangerous for them. So I think even if we were a humanoid from a better environment, maybe the metals in our atmosphere are very dangerous. So in that way, I think that when some of us go on board these craft, we can't be, even our melanin doesn't protect us from all that, some of the other pathogens that's in our atmosphere. So I think, and when you're being around these other non-humans, it's very dangerous. Check out War of the Worlds. You know what took those cats out? It was a bacteria that got them. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> taking this, and taking this melanin factor, let's look at some of how this science is being supported by some evidence that we have. This would be the Kanga mushroom and also the radiotropic fungus that I've talked about before. The radiotropic fungus that was found on the walls of Chernobyl and of Fukushima, all right, that is taking gamma radiation and converting it into the life, pro the, the, uh, life process, the growth process, like the Incredible Hulk. That's what the Hulk does, but it's an all-black melanin-dominant fungus, just like that uh, Kanga mushroom, very melanin-dominant. So you're seeing these organizations that can, organisms that can take that type of radiation with their melanin 
and turn it into the growth cycle. That's got a lot to do with the immune system there, a lot to do with it. I know we're certainly not immune to that type of radiation, are we? <laughs> I don't care how much melanin you've got in this human body. You're not going to be good in Chernobyl or in, in Fukushima in the, in the nuclear radiate the reactor. Anyway, that's just something I wanted to bring up with that. Make sure I hit all the little points here on this. Um, I think that uh, that's most of it there. Just tying in this, but looking at the science of melanin and what's going on. And connected to that science is also they're breaking down so much. They're saying if melanin has intelligence, which believe me it does, because it takes us into what we're talking about, dark matter and dark uh, matter expansion. These are all things that are connected to melanin. So this is basically what I wanted to hit. And I think this is very worry, worthy of looking at. And anyone that's studying this, real contactees for real, listen to what I'm saying about the sterilization process, especially since we have too many, so many few melanin dominant black contactees coming forward saying anything about this. But I didn't think I went through the sterilization process because it's not like what I heard in the media, but yet I was exposed to something in that ray that I think would have disinfected me enough to where I can walk around on that ship because we've got so much here that we have so much going on in such a toxic environment that not even strictly melanin I think is enough to prevent us from infecting them. So just food for thought, all right? Nonetheless, something needs to be scientifically looked at. Please subscribe. Uh, please check me out on Patreon if you're not there. Um, people have been helping out a lot, so I'm still making videos here. Much power. Peace.